Hey guys, working on my production, my 80 plus year old uh, student says, listen, this is the light you need to get. It's a Braun. Where did I pick it up at? Harbor Freight, 25 bucks. LED rechargeable. It does put a nice amount of light right where we need it. Of course, it's typical of lighting. It's in the way. I don't have a lot to show you. What I do have to show you is the way I wound up doing this plenum. Is that is the area where it needed the epoxy because I made a hole. So that doesn't have a whole lot of dome shape or plateau shape to it. Okay. I did some more work to that inside wall. I was told that that uh, sharp edge is giving a lot of turbulence. Well, that sharp edge is there for a few reasons, actually. One reason is we want a fuel dam this way, okay? If the fuel comes into this side we don't want it running down into the other side okay because this side is easier to feed than this side so this is where the real challenge is the real challenge is in the upper one so you can see i cut it back i radiused it Let's see if we can get in there a little better All right it's actually quite a bit bigger okay maybe you can see the radius there Okay, because that's the one that's really hard to feed. Remember, it's going, it's got a sharp turn from the top, and it's got a sharp turn on the side. I actually built a small handle for the phone. Maybe it's a little less jiggly. I'll, I'll see what I can do. And I made a new flag up with a different material. We're going to try that, and uh, we're going to show how the flag works on this. The good part about... Now this, this is this is the number two with the real sharp corner. It's only off by four CFM from our low plenum. All right, my tape fell off. Let's fix that up. Okay, lower your volume. Bench is going on. Okay, somebody suggested that we fill in this area all the way to the other plenum. Well, I wasn't originally planning on doing that, but I did fill it with clay to see what kind of a difference it would make. And it gave me a few CFM at the very top end, but it lost in the mid-range. This is, this is better at more lift points the way it is. And filled in. So that was worth trying. Forgive me if I said this already, but this, the upper one is only, I think, 4 CFM shy of the lower plenum. So 
lower plenum of 176. This is 172, 173. Okay. Is it really where we need it to be? It's a little shy. Will we get our 300 plus horsepower out of it? I have no doubt. I did find out there is a better intake than this. It's a, the, the TBI dual plane. Much bigger plenum. I don't know if it has the same bolt pattern. And I spoke to DV. He's going to get me uh, in touch with uh, Uncle Tony. And he wants him to send me a few, few sets of heads, actually. Open chambers. And maybe I can get one of those TBI intakes to work on. Set of cast iron exhaust manifolds. That'll be fun. Another interesting note that I just found out is right under, under here, there's about an inch long set of veins going across. Very difficult to get to. I doubt I can get to it with a burr. I can just touch it with my finger. I could wear it out a little bit with a piece of uh, sand cloth on my finger, but that doesn't really sound like a good time. In any case... Throw me your input on, on uh, if, if we're done with this or if we need to do a little more to it. I know my feeling. I've kind of had enough of it. But if you think the success of the project dictates on more work, you let me know. Like these tight corners, I've worked on them with sand cloth. But I haven't gone the extra mile and drilled these out and done that. I don't know if I want to do that. I know a couple guys wanted me to do it. Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully my production is inching its way towards uh, acceptable. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.